What's happening? What's happening? It's Vosh here, man. We got landlord, you know what I'm saying? Like, got landlord, Alabama, yes, you know what I'm saying? You know, he just <laughs> building his platform and all that in the YouTube space, and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of landlord. He, is, he, has, he has done the work, and, and, and not at one time. This is what I like about landlord. Landlord, ain't he ain't begged to be here. He ain't begged to be here. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Landlord just work. He work. And I'm like, hey, yo, landlord, I respect your hustle. Come on to the channel. Let's talk, man. And landlord oh, yeah. here. What's good with you, player? What's going on, man? It feels great to be here. It's, it's almost one of the mama I made it type situations. You know what I'm saying? I started out of your chat box. A lot of people don't know that. You yeah. know, none but the originals know that. So, you know, salute to you and your platform and everything you do for the nation, man. We appreciate you. Let me tell you what, man. I was I was going to be, you know, super humble through that. I'm like, hey, man, appreciate you, Lamb. But <laughs> but I've been doing work with um with um Broadus, right? And Broadus yeah. is like, mama, I made it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For me. And, 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 and I be trying to hype him up a little bit. He be like, hey, man, shut up. Don't be, don't be talking to me. And that shit made me sick, man. It's like, dog, you Broadus. <laughs> Chill yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't. Yeah. And I ain't, I ain't brought us or nothing like that, but I'm just going to receive your words. I'm just going to say, appreciate you, man. You know, brought us to tell me, shut up. But I'm going to look at you. Be like, hey, man, appreciate you, bro. Pre appreciate you. All right. But uh, let's get into it, man. So, you know, you know, we, this ain't TMZ or nothing like that. We don't get into all the mess on this channel. But, uh, you know, the Jones is bothering the hell out of people, you know. At, at first, it was just about, all right, well, maybe this is just what contract renegotiations look like. And now they're trying to. And now they're trying to hold up CD and Michael Parsons for their money, man. So, what you what you think mm. we had with the Joneses? Are you sick of the Joneses? I know you're sick of the Joneses, but I just want Absolutely. your take to be on the channel, man. Where you at? <laughs> where you at with the Joneses, man? I mean, you know, we we got to understand what we're dealing with here, man. They they this is how they operate. Yeah. You know, it's a different form of operation in in Dallas. You know, other people go other places and get contracts easy peasy. They done with it. You know what I'm saying? But we like to slander our people. We like to tell D-Law, you ain't Aaron Donald. We like to tell people stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's really it's really underhanded, Vach. Because mm -hmm. real talk, at a, it's a certain point that you're supposed to show some type of respect sure. for your players. You know what I'm saying? And then it's it's other players from other places looking on to this. They like, oh, that's how they do in Dallas? I ain't never going to Dallas. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Is, never is that an attractive place to go when y'all handling y'all people like that? So... You know, it, it's really strange, man. I think the changing of the guards when it comes to Jerry kind of relinquishing some power, giving it to Steven, sure. I think it got a little underhanded then because yeah. think about it. People didn't have nothing but glowing reviews for Jerry. Yeah. Like, they, they love Jerry. They say, man, it, Jerry take care of you. He, he take care of your family. You don't hear nothing but good stuff about Jerry. So now it look like with the changing of the, you know, passing mm -hmm. it down, mm -hmm. it look like it's going haywire now. Yeah, but boy, they can't they can't stand Steven. I ain't never heard nobody <laughs> I ain't heard nobody say nothing good about Steven. You know what I'm saying? Never. But never. uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh Jimmy Johnson coming out <clears throat> talking about oh, oh I'm on the advisory board, Steve. Like ain't no goddamn advisory board. <laughs> <laughs> he hate on everything good. But you know, uh I Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I just call him Dollar Bill Jones on my side. He ain't trying to pay them country boys nothing. So uh -uh. that's that's the name we gave him over there on my side of town, man. So the only thing that we got you know what I'm saying, to try to help the team and to build the team is the draft. That's all we got. You know what I'm saying? That's all we got. And and it's it's trash because we just we just we just can't miss. We're not allowed to miss picks because we don't cause we don't do nothing else. So year before, man, we was hitting on Tyler and then we was hitting, you know, Ferg and uh Bland and you know what I'm saying. We gotta hit on we do better with the undrafted cats than we do on some of the fifth round, sixth round guys. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. So that's just that that's just where we at in the draft. We just we just can't miss with that. So with that being said, who who's uh some of your guys, man? Who's your who's your pets your uh, pet cats? Who you looking at? Let's just go right here. Twenty fourth overall. Where you at with that? Um, you know, I don't know if you knew. I'm I'm team wide receiver. You know, that's my wheelhouse, that's my position. Mm. And um, you know, with this CD Lamb stuff, I might be getting lucky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know, ain't nobody more petty than the Joneses. Ain't nobody. Now they, look, ain't nobody more petty than them. Mm -hmm. What they do when it was time to sign Zeke? Signs, I mean, drafted Draft Tony Pollard. Yeah. What they did when it was time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They go, they got an answer for you. Mm -hmm. Dak negotiations come up, you go find Trey Lance. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they very petty, but. I think it'll be irresponsible to get a wide receiver. I was banging for it earlier, but it felt like we made so many holes as of late, like letting Tyron go, letting 
Tyler Biotis go. It's just too many holes to to go and get a luxury pick like that at 24. So mm. it'll have to be a, a offensive lineman. Like I, I'd be very irresponsible if I didn't go left tackle or center at uh 24. We go, even though I want yeah. to, yeah, yeah, <laughs> even yeah. Though I want to, yeah. Let's go ahead. We gonna uh, tap in with wide receiver because I do think you could draft wide receiver just not in the first round. But it's okay, okay. And it's about 30, 40 of them that we can uh, we we can just break down the chop up real fast. But it's crazy. So you wanna you wanna draft draft the O line first? I saw your mock draft yesterday because I do watch the show. I don't always tell you I'm in there, but I do watch the show. <laughs> yeah, you know what I saying? appreciate. You know what I'm saying? I'll be doing something around the house. I'll be cleaning up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, playing with some tools, cleaning my rifle. I just had your show in the back. You know what I'm saying? And okay. you you went you went center in the, in the uh, first round. Yeah, Jackson Powell, Jackson. So Tyler Smith is your left tackle, sir. He would have to be in that scenario. If if your idea is center, we we I don't want to move him. Ever since I seen you had Duke on the show too, man. Shout out to him. I feel like he deserved more respect for what his take was. Okay. Because I say that because if we give him all this power and respect when it comes to them molding these players into all pros, mm. you got to respect the man's opinion as well, bro. Like, don't just sit up and act like he's just crazy. Sir. The man said, don't move <laughs> Tyler Smith. And I, when he said it, I said, hey, I'm riding with Duke. That's what I said. It's some people in the comments that'll be like, Hey, fuck what he talking about. <laughs> put Tyler, put Tyler. In Tyler. <laughs> I'm like, how you gonna tell Duke that? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Sure, but so so you got Tyler at guard. I want to keep him at guard. The only scenario I was about to ask you: if your idea is similar to 24, what, what you would do in that situation? Because I don't think. Do you think a Do you think it's a second round tackle that can come in and be your starter? Mm -mm. I don't. So that's that's the that's the problem right there. So but, what would you do? Well, see, I don't I don't think there's any day two tackles that can come in and, that can that can um, play, but I do think it's some day two centers that can play. So you know what I'm saying? You know, if you want to, and and look, the Cowboy man, I even do this. But if you want to draft a tackle at first and draft a center in the third, man, nobody want to hear that, dog. But but me nah. as old line guy, look, me as old line guy, I've been telling people all the time, if you just draft offensive line you ain't got to do it no more you know what i'm saying true, we constantly true. find a receiver we're constantly having to draft linebacker and tight end and stuff vice says this if you just draft offensive line double dip sometime and just get it like dog tyron smith been your left tackle for 20 years zach you know what i'm saying <laughs> zach you ain't have to worry about no right guard man you know what i'm saying so if, yeah. if, if you just draft properly you ain't got to worry about the positions no more however we don't always draft properly because we don't want to double dip. Good teams double dip all the time, but we don't want to double dip. Can so, I ask you a question in that four. scenario? Poor for four. Okay. Well, like you say, you you feel like it's some, what, second round, third round centers that can start for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If Do you, you could, feel like those centers are better than Brock Hoffman? Hell yeah, man. And and, and, so? and look, I'm cool with okay, Brock. Okay. And look, I think Brock can play, though. But man, look, so yeah. look, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. The uh, Duke the uh, Duke interview, three parts. Yeah. And the, and the uh, third part come out in like two days or whatever. So I asked him about Brock Hoffman, right? Okay. When Duke talking about Zach Frazier from West Virginia, he's a rookie. Oh, man, Zach strong, man. Zach move good. Hey, yo, Zach. Yo, Zach could be Zach the best center in the class. I say, oh, okay, well, uh, Duke, tell me about Tyler Smith. Yo, Tyler Smith is incredible, dog. He's strong as hell. He need to play guard. He's aggressive. He move. Hey, Duke, tell me yeah. about our marriage, man. Oh, he got great feet, man. His hands is long. Yo, look, he ain't got no bad habits. You can take. Uh, Duke, tell us about Brock Hoffman. Hey, man, he working hard, man. Shit, man. <laughs> he all right. Brock Hoffman. <laughs> He, Brock Hoffman coming here every day, and he does his job, and he's putting <laughs> he's putting one foot in front of the other. He's twisting the dough knob before he walk into the door, and he's making some progress. So what that oh, says man. to me, what that says to me, <laughs> you, your ass better go get a sentence. What Duke Manning wasn't saying. He got to find regular stuff to give him compliments about. So yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Hard work and all that. So <laughs> I would love to have Jackson Powers Johnson or Graham Barton, but. If the tackle is there, I got to do what do what makes sense for the team. You know what I'm saying? So what if do you it's like Barton at the most, I like I like 
I, I like Barton anywhere, he but versatile. he versatile. He versatile, but but Garden Center for me. You know what I'm saying? Gar, Garden Center. Uh, he only played center for one year, his freshman year in Duke, and he played a little bit of guard. And he played a gang of tackle. Um, but I think he'll be great anywhere on the inside. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. it ain't really got much to do with his arm length because he got film versus Jared Verse, who's a top edge dude right now. Um, he kicking his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beating the hell out of Jared Verse sometimes, right? <laughs> but uh, if but he. He's 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 so fit to play guard because he's strong. He could dig people out of gaps and he can run the zone stuff. He can do the second level stuff. So if I get Graham Barton, I'm going to go. If I could, if I can get Graham Barton at center, I can roll the dice with Austin Richards at left tackle. Oh man, awesome! I don't like it neither, but let me explain That's something. Risky to you. Business right though. So how about this, right? <laughs> how about this? Let's name teams that we would consider much better than the Dallas Cowboys, right? Let, 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 let's just let's just play a game. San Francisco, right? Their old line is literally Trent Williams and some characters and some people, but they get the job done, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If you look at, uh, you know, just just pick an offensive line that we lost to. Miami didn't have a great offensive line. Buffalo, Buffalo the had Eagles. They, the Eagles had some dudes, but they but they was they was they was vulnerable. Uh, yeah. Buffalo leads the league in offensive linemen on their team that I can't stand. <laughs> they got a bunch of bad guys. Huh? I can't. I couldn't stand those Cyrus Torrance, and we all know um, Connor McGovern. Those dudes are not special, but they can run the ball against us because they got a scheme that can do it. They got a sure. scheme that can do it. So now I'm to a point to where I'm like, hey man, why why we gotta have five studs on the offensive line? I've never been this guy before, but in this particular season, in this draft in particular, I gotta go, all right, dog, why can't we just have a scrub that just gets us by? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So in my world, hey, Graham Barton at center, Tyler and Zach at guard. Terrence Steele at right tackle, and we could just be grooming left tackle. I've I've seen Dak overcome bad tackle play, so I, I know he could do say, it. I've seen Dak operate in some hostile situations. Like 2020 was hostile. Sure. The, the line was horrible, and he still was putting up tremendous numbers. You know, he ended up hurt, but it wasn't because of the old line, really. You know, he was just scrambling. It was a freak accident type uh, situation. But, yeah. man, like you said, Graham Bond would be a great pick, and I – I ain't too mad at him. I trust Dak enough to be able to operate. Like, come the pressure from the edges is like mm -hmm. you can you can manipulate that better than them pressure straight up the middle. Sure. And I feel confident in Dak. But the only thing is, we haven't seen well, we seen Dak without Tyron, but I'ma tell you right now, and I know you watch film, so you know, you know I'm right on about this. Yeah. Dak trusts his Tyron Smith with his life. Yeah. Like <laughs> he don't even he don't even pay attention to the left side of the line, Vach. Sure. Like when he get when Tyron gets beat, yeah. Dak is finna get obliterated. <laughs> like it's finna be ugly. Because he ain't <laughs> see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be like, oh my, you gonna clutch your pearls if Dak gets sacked hey, on Dak that be, side of the box. <laughs> hey, if Dak be getting up, I know damn well Tyron ain't getting beat. I know <laughs> goddamn like, well. What happened? He like, gonna, he gonna look that, around. That's how much of trust that you missing, though. Like, people can say what they want to say about, you know, him being hurt, but we talking about the, the camaraderie that he got with Dak Prescott. That's going to be a big-time shift in that. That might speed Dak clock up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was team keep tired. I don't care what he do. Yeah. Long, if he on the field, let, let him rock out. But, I mean, I like you said, I know you can uh, agree with me because you've seen that. Anytime sure. Dak gets sacked from the left side, it is ugly. Yeah. Like it is, it is like, oh my God, is he okay? Yeah. Like he don't have no type of regulation of what's going on. So that's 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 a big loss right there for real, man. But like I said, I do believe he can manipulate the pressure from the edges, step up. But you do need a center to step up, though, Vach. Like, that's the point. That's the point. You gotta be. <laughs> you gotta be good in the middle. As yeah. as far as uh Dak go, I've seen Dak be good with both cams. You know what I'm saying, Fleming and Irvin. I've yeah, seen yeah. him be good with uh, Chuma. Ch Chuma up there don't even know to play. Look, Chuma, Chuma wasn't bad. He, he, he just don't know to play. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've seen Chuma, Chuma making mistakes and, and just different trash tackles playing on that left side. My whole point, if Awesome Riches can be better than Chaz Green, I think we'll be fine. I think he can survive, though. But, it, like, we just can't. It's just so them, – them little rookie – well, the inexperience can get you hurt, though, man. Yeah. But it's risky. We're going to have to – this the point right here, Vach. Yeah. 
the Cowboys left us in a situation that we trying to fill like 32 holes on our team with the draft alone. Yeah. That's we shouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? We should have been doing this, attacking this from different areas instead of just one. That's why it's so hard. Like, that's why we know we got to sacrifice certain stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, we like, man, we're going to be able to get this. But, hey, that right there is just going to have to, you know, we're going to have to pray about that. Like, that's the situation we in trying to fix the whole team in the draft. That's mm -hmm. That should never be the case. You know how we like to go in the draft. Even if you got some, you know, some some dollar store workers in these positions, it don't matter yeah. who you got. As long as you got somebody there and you can go to the draft feeling free. You know what I'm saying? We're not free at all. No. But it's so crazy that this year we got so many holes that it's almost like we free. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But let me ask you this, though. Do we really have an answer is yes. <laughs> but the answer is 100 percent yes. But do we really have a bunch of holes on the D? Let me just say this, right? Losing Tyron was impactful. Huge, yeah. humongous, right? Tyler Biotis can be replaced. He's a replaceable player. Doris yeah. Armstrong can be he can be replaced. I don't know where J. Ron playing football at, but I was sick of him anyway. I don't even know if it's going to be a J. Ryan role in his defense either. It's so. probably not, a, and, and I'll, I'll write that down to ask you about it. But yeah. some of the dudes that we lost, I feel like we straight. We just looking for depth at this. And maybe that's why the Cowboys aren't too urgent about it. I think that's a mistake because the goddamn 49ers have had the best pass rush in the league, and they'll add two more. They'll add Randy and they'll add Chase Young, right? So yes. I just so I, I don't like just sitting on your hands like that. But are we really – in desperation mode, we should probably use a you know we could we could use some more some more pass rushes you know what I'm saying some more edges or whatever but you know we yeah. lost Dante and Dorrance you know I, we can improve there we can True. improve from uh, Biotis we can you know we can improve from Vanderish everybody that we lost for the most part ain't all that good except Tyron Smith and we still don't know what's happening with Gilly but uh, Diggs is back but even with that though right. I was excited about what Diggs and Gilly and, and Bland was going to look like. You know what I mean? I just don't want to be relying on Bland for real, for real. I mean, Bland's cool, but just relying on him. Gilly had to come in and beat CB1. So You know Bland, my guy, but we got to be honest. Like, is, can he cover number ones consistently? I don't think we want to I don't think we want to see that. That's the you know point. I think he can hold up, sure. but, like, being a, being a Trey, that's another, that's another story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um... The the next biggest hole is that you know uh, Miles is the first one take off the off the bench if we don't do something about this. we don't do something right now Miles that, that's that's an actual void right now about so like, we you, can't even we can't even sugarcoat that one like yeah with like I said we lost Jonathan Hankins somebody we like and then Miles we didn't get what we wanted from him we we knew this like mm -hmm. the Cowboys should have knew this as well like I said the same thing last year. I was saying I didn't want a defensive tackle in the first sure. because I knew that it was a, a oven type position that that's going to take time to marinate. I sure. knew this, but we need an impact right now. And then the same Cowboys just let all these defensive tackles just go, go past us, just bypass us. Yeah. Sheldon Rankins, uh, DJ reader. These guys would have helped us. Yeah. That's what makes me angry, man. Like, if you know you're not good at drafting a position, Vox, mm -hmm. why don't you go buy one? Sign it up. <laughs> just go buy one, bro. Like yeah. we we've been we've been failing at getting a defensive tackle for years. Mm -hmm. Why had that not that ain't got through their head yet, Vox? All I'm saying is if you know you're not good at it, yeah. go get it in free agency, bro. You, you fixed it. Do you do you do you think that that's something Zimmer can fix? Like, do you think that he can take what we have and kind of elevate it a little bit? Because I don't think we're gonna draft one tech early, but just by how this draft kind of kind of laid out, I think you're going to have to draft one tech early. So if we don't get a chance to draft one tech early, do you think Zim can take what we got and elevate it? And so far, that's uh, it ain't Carl Lewis, it ain't Carl Thomas, Carl uh, Davis. Davis. <laughs> I, Carl Thomas is a singer <laughs> and, and Carl Lewis run track. So yeah, Carl, Carl what the name? Davis and, um, Davis. and, yeah. and, and Mozzie. Do you think that Zim can take them and pair them with Osa and make something out of that. I like what Osa did. The answer is no. Like the answer is no. Yeah, no. I'm gonna let you finish. It's not possible. It's <laughs> yeah. not possible. Okay. Because because it's we asking so much from Mozzie. Yeah. And and we seen where he was last year. Yeah. So you heard Steven say he's looking for player development 
he's looking for these older players like well these players that we put any kind of draft capital in or any kind of resources in sure. he's looking for them to take steps forward to be real formidable starters on a football team and that's crazy when you think about it sure because some of these guys they're not starters they just dealt pieces yeah. but steven want to see them take another leap he they got that much confidence in they in they uh in they scouting right like they just feel like everybody's gonna be players with uh, with the Cowboys. They be missing. <laughs> them, them hoes be they be missing just as much as everybody else. Dog. Yeah, they really do. You know, I was I was talking to um Fusty King earlier. Shots out to Foots, and he was like, "There's no way we should be drafting one tech early." And I was like, "Man, you know, other teams have done it. You know, they'll they'll draft a tackle. And they'll, I mean, they'll draft a uh, yeah yeah, yeah a, a one tech, and then they'll draft a three tech right after that, or just whatever, vice versa. And I just I, yeah, we spent the first round pick on on Mozzie or whatever, right? But we don't know what the hell Mozzie. That's the big question mark, man. If if Mozzie showed us anything, that's my biggest problem. Mozzie ain't show us nothing. Awesome ain't show us nothing. Schoolmaker ain't show us nothing. Overshone got hurt, so we couldn't. For Hoko ain't show us nothing. Even if them dudes did get better. We don't know what they're going to be. We have no clue what year two of them going to look like. Exactly. That was my whole problem with the way he's thinking. you talking about them getting better, but how much better? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They might get a fraction better, and it don't move nothing. Yeah. Like, is it going to move the needle? Like, and I see a lot of people championing um, Overshawn. I think Overshawn was showing some good stuff, but we don't know, Vaj. Uh -huh. Like, that, that's, that's an unknown at this point. Like, we hope so, yeah. you know. And then the man coming off of ACL, so we finna give him all of this responsibility. Yeah. We looking at Overshawn like, hey, come fix our linebacking core. And yeah. this man coming straight off of ACL. Yeah. That's irresponsible. And, and we looking for linebacker this year. So that <laughs> that that tell you what, what they think about Overshawn for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we're not finna go out there with 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 four linebackers. Somebody gonna like Clark gonna have to sit down. They they sign Kendrick's Kendrick's gonna play because he knows the scheme. You know what I'm saying? Definitely he's 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 played with the Vikings before. So what Overshawn, new dude, and Clark gonna rotate or something? Clark gonna be playing kickoff and he's gonna Clark be cut gonna or on the sideline. Yeah, I don't tell you what's gonna happen. Uh do you have a favorite one tech or like a DT you've been watching uh, just anything like that that you I mean that you been looking at? You know the one out of Texas, uh Sweat. Sweat. He just got a he just got a charge. Um uh, <laughs> something like that. I ain't said look, I look I don't want to smile like that's a great thing. But look <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, when you a cowboy fan, you gotta <laughs> I you got to be kind of hopeful for stuff like this. That's sad. I looked at the article, man. They said he walked out of jail with a mask and a, and a towel on his head because he didn't want to be seen. Man, how many 6'4", 380 pounds? Because <laughs> y'all got in jail. You was, you, all, everybody in jail, 6'4", 380, 360? Three, three, Nah, we know yeah. who you is, dog. You Quit caught playing. red handed, sir. But I don't think he going I don't think he gonna fall like people gonna think that he gonna fall. Like he's still talented and there's some teams that I mean you could rob a bank the day before the draft. We don't care. We're gonna take you good. Can you play football? Can you play football? So Pete, yeah. if if you go O line first, what's your next two picks looking like? Wide receiver? I mean you gotta get a running back at some point. D tackle, what you looking like? You asking me or the or what the Cowboys are doing? I'm asking Landlord. The Cowboys are gonna draft a safety. I'm drafting uh, Keon Coleman okay. or either uh, Adion Mitchell. If okay. if them guys fall that far, Xavier Worthy, I like okay. all of them. Okay. I like all of them. <laughs> really, I really do. Like, I think Keon will be the perfect type of cowboy. They say he's CeeDee Lamb cousin. Yeah. He makes all these circus catches. We need a big body possession type receiver. I think he'll work out well with Dak. Like, we ain't really seen Dak with a, a physically imposing type wide receiver. That's what I want to see. Yeah. We see the circus catches, the concentration that he does. Look, just cooking people on routes. I love it, man. I really do want to see Dak in a in a with a with a wide receiver like this. Yeah. We haven't seen it. I wonder how many uh Cowboy fans mad that uh that uh Gallup gone. You know what I'm saying? And, not many. And, yeah, they 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 they're not gonna be mad. But uh let me ask you this. Since we you know, I'm just gonna let these uh Keon I can't play this play because copyright. Uh let me ask you this. So you cool with Jalen Tober, who's a South Alabama guy. You cool with 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 Jalen Tober just kind of being the guy, and you know what I'm saying. I know you talked to Tober and you did the interview with him, and that's one of your guys, and yeah, and all I'm, that. I'm hopeful for Tober. I'm rooting for him, but I'm trying to win right now, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So 
if 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 I couldn't pass up on a big time wide receiver this year, yeah. I just couldn't. This is the wide receiver Christmas draft. Like, yeah. Yeah. and it, I don't want to be the one that 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 miss out this year. I just don't. Yeah. So second, the second round to me should be receivable. And you want to know why it should be Vach? Mm. It should be because you got Brandon Cooks on a one year deal, and he's thirty, so he won't be he won't even be in the equation next year. You got CD Lamb on the contract year. You got um um Jalen Tolbert coming up in his third year. After this year, you're gonna have to sign him. Yeah. How how close to signing him are you? Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you really do need another receiver. You really do. And then one more reason why it should be receiver, I'm willing to bet anybody that the BPA will be a receiver at that point. Yeah. I guarantee you they will. It's going to be BPA in the second round. It's going to be a nice receiver sitting there watching. BPA. And we're going to have to make it. It's going to be a wide receiver going to be the best player for like three rounds. And, and, <laughs> and you know like second round, third round. Four. And then, look, to be fair to your point about, uh, you know, Mitchell and, you know, Coleman or whatever, they may be the best player on the board at the time in the um first round or whatever right but yeah. you got to you got to just politic a little bit man you got to draft you know and and most most teams going to go all right Brian Thomas is right here for me i can get Brian Thomas right now or i can get the other best player here and i can get Lad McConkey later, or I can get Ricky Pearsall later, or I can get Keon Coleman later. I'm a Jalen Polk guy, or you can get Jalen Polk later. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so many of them dudes. Like um, Jermaine Burton is your guy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. just it's just so many of these dudes that just floating around. I don't know how many of them get to the fourth round. I think the big run is gonna happen right at the end of the first. All second round and all third round. And the problem with that is Cowboys ain't got a fourth. So we got to make a decision. If if we going to be a part of this, it got to be in the second or the third. And that's, and and that's, that's what sucks. Go that's ahead. exactly what I was about to say because they might make it to your round, but will they make it to you? Mm. It might be a run right in front of you. Yeah. We've seen that happen to us plenty of times where we trying to wait and wait and wait. I did some research on that Jalen Tolbert draft, man. Please. We really just waited too late, Vach. Mm. Like every other, like I like Jalen Tolbert. I feel like he can become something. But we, 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 we talking about potential when it's come to him, and sure. this is his third year now. Yeah. Like it's almost contract time. Yeah. Like you see what I'm saying? So I did some research on that draft, man. Jalen Tolbert, the only other player that was even noteworthy was Romeo Dobbs. Mm. That mean we waited way too late. Every other receiver did nothing yeah. in the draft. Yeah. Nobody else. And Romeo wasn't even just, you know what I'm saying? A he guy was, like yeah, he that. wasn't one of them. He shocked yeah. everybody. Yeah. He shocked everybody playing the way he played. Yeah. So that right there indicates to me that we definitely waited too late, Bach. We waited too late. <sighs> I don't want to do that this draft. Yeah. Go second. Go wide receiver in the second, man. I think Tober to be cool, but I just want to use him more like a Cedric Wilson. I just, I just, I don't want to have to rely on Tober so, so much. Now there's room for a Wilson on your team. You know what I'm saying? Just somebody to rotate in, come in and, you know, um, different sets or whatever, 10 personnel or whatever. And, you know, you could just use him and he'll end up with 700 yards in a season or something like that. I think there's, there's room for guys like him. Um, but like you said, man, I'm, I'm, you know, give me Keon Coleman, give me Jalen Poe, give me Pearsall, give me, give me I Lad McConkey. I think you should look at it like we did CD. Really, mm. we really should because you might as well just think like Brandon Cooks ain't there. Yeah, because he won't be there next year. Sure. The the receiver class next year is it gonna be this good? We drafted CD Lamb for advance. Sure. We drafted him a year early. Mm. Why can't we do the same thing? You got a great receiver right here, and you're going to wait a whole nother year for no reason. Sure, sure. You can be ahead of the curve. Instead of being reactive, you can be proactive and get a receiver right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And now when Brandon Coots walk out the building, you are already stacked. Mm. you like, okay, let's rock out. And Dak needs some more weapons. Yeah. We seen Brandon Cook's size and stuff like that kind of was throwing an eye back in that Green Bay game. Like, sure. them boys was all over Brandon Cooks. Sure. So, like, you need a bigger receiver. You need a more dynamic receiver, I feel like. That's just my opinion. A lot of people super high on Cooks. I like Cooks, but I feel like that's a – that's a you know what I'm saying? I feel like we can get better, though. I really do. Yeah, Cooks uh, got going towards the end of the season. He ended up being more of a red zone touchdown guy. Like, he had, like, uh -huh. eight – he had eight – 
eight touchdowns, but he didn't get a whole bunch of receiving yards. So nah, he didn't. I think you got to add somebody else, man. Like and and you know, it, it's just that formula, bro. Like I right, Ferguson getting his CD getting 20 targets or whatever, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And and Cooks was still trying to find his way, man. And and, and maybe Cooks don't really fit here as an all-the-time guy like that as a, as a thousand-yard receiver in his offense. Yeah. Maybe Ferguson is your second, you know, thousand-yard receiver. And Cooks just, maybe you know, he need the year two. We don't know. Possibly. Maybe he need the second year and he and he go crazy. Him and Dak was a little off. Yeah. I'm not blaming it all the way on Cooks. I'm just – I, that's what I tried to say on my show because yeah. a lot of people got mad at me because I've been saying, bro, I don't care nothing about cools. I want a better receiver. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but I think people fail to realize I'm I'm attacking the whole operation. Mm. Whether it was Mike McCarthy scheming, Dak throwing the ball, or Brandon Cooks getting open, I don't care which one it was. I'm mm. talking about the whole operation. It didn't work to the degree that I would like. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to see somebody go out there and pair with CeeDee Lamb and give people – all kinds of problems, bro. We did not see that. It was plenty of times we was like, man, what Brandon Cook said? Like, what's going on? Couldn't nobody get open that Green Bay game. Sure. Nobody to the end of the game. Let me, let me so. ask you, let me ask you a question, big dog. You know, we uh talk about playoff football. A lot of people want to hate on deck, but when we talk about playoff football, we talk about defense and we talk about run game. We ain't had neither. But let me ask neither you this. One. Was the run game bad? Or was Deuce Vaughn bad? Which one was it? What you mean, Deuce? Deuce ain't even play. That's what. That's so. So when Deuce did play, he he ain't do nothing. But what I'm asking <laughs> was the run game bad, or was Deuce Vaughn bad? And then when you answer that question, let me know if Deuce is in your plans for this for this next year. Absolutely not. Dang. I, I I'm I'm drafting like Deuce don't exist. That's uh. me. Yeah. We call him Little Legs on my side of town. Ugh. He has some very small legs. I don't. I just don't think that he's. I don't think he's that. I don't know, man. Mm. Maybe he can do something with the right team. Mm. What it is about Deuce? He's so small, man. When I seen him at camp, I lost all hope. Yeah. When I seen him in person, I was just like, I don't know, Vibes. Like what? He what little bitty, man. He man, little. He, he little like bitty. look, we can say that all day, Vibes. How yeah. small he is. Yeah. But when you see him with your own eyes. That's going to change it. Like, you're just going to be like, wow, that's him right now? Like, it, it makes no sense how small this dude is. I thought and Deuce, I I thought Deuce was, a, was a really good running back in college. And I was like, man, if this dude was three inches taller, he'd be a, he'd be a first-round pick. Like, that's the type of dude that he was. But then when he got here, if he had running lanes, we just talking about preseason right now. Preseason ain't, ain't even real football. But when he had running lanes, he looked great. But it's something about the regular season. And real football happened, and nothing happened. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking people if the run scheme and the O line block better, would Deuce be better? Like, could he I really admit, be? Yeah, go ahead. They wasn't good either. Mm-mm. Like, so let's let's be honest about that. But oh. I will say, I just seen it's a good indication when you seen Deuce go from somebody that Mike McCarthy says specifically that he has packages for. Like, I have Deuce Vaughn packages. It's false. No way. That's, Not this time. It. We created it. <laughs> Not this time. No. That motherfucker said it, but that don't mean nothing. That, 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 don't, that don't mean it existed. <laughs> I'm just saying, they considered him. My mama so says say his name. My mama says Santa Claus was real. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. A lot I'm of just it. saying, mm. they act like, you know, allegedly that he had some Deuce Vaughn packages. Uh, and then we seen them intentionally try to use Deuce Vaughn. Sure. And then next thing you know, they never did that shit again. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like, we done. Yeah. So, to me, like, some people going to say, we, you ain't seen Deuce be bad, bad, or you can't say Deuce bad. I could say that from the way the team operated with Deuce Vaughn, they don't believe a lot in him. Yeah. Because they gave him opportunity, and then they just stripped it away. Yeah. And never looked back again. Next thing you know, he was just on the sideline in, in, in joggers. That's how he was the rest of the year. So to me, that says that they don't look at him like a real running back. Mm. So, so far, what you have for me, you ain't even know I was just keeping records of this. You want to go O-line in the first round. Oh, you want to go wide receiver in second or third. Yeah. So wait. So where you want to fit running back and which running backs do you like? I think you can get – I like Trey Benson. I think Trey Benson a complete back. I mm. feel like he'll be a – he could be a, 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 a every down back for Dallas. I mm-hmm. really do. Yeah. But he, even Jonathan Brooks, I know he's been hurt. Yeah. But 
we did the surgery, so that's a prime indication that Dallas Dallas they doing like the bird, man. They like. Let me tell you something, man. I don't want to hear no more about Dr. Cooper doing the surgery because I didn't see him do surgery that didn't work, and people still yeah. came back terrible. I don't care nothing about him doing the surgery. <laughs> But he but did the surgery. Yeah, go ahead. They love him. They love him when he when he do the surgery. That's almost a light that shines for the Cowboys. So mm-hmm. keep your eye on him. But I believe you can. Do you think he he could be there in the third for us, right, Trey Benson? I think he could be. I think Trey Benson is good enough. He's my he's my uh, he's my one back. I think he's so good. He probably gonna be a late second round guy. I think he's gonna be a late second round guy. Don't say that. Don't hurt my heart. I like think that. I think Trey Benson is in that same cloth as like Brees Hall and like Kenny Walker and those guys. Like, hey, I, you could draft these dudes in a second. I think he's in that cloth. And people saying that, hey, no running backs gonna go to the third round. I call BS on that. I I think Benson is and Danny ran the four three nine. I think he going second round. I we think seen, he we seen running back stock go up last year. They was talking about. Uh, we ain't drafting no Gibbs. High Gibbs went first round. Twelve. Ain't <laughs> you ain't got a lot of me, dog. You ain't got a lot of me playing. No sir. Hey, hey, I was telling people. Everybody talking. About, I don't want no B. John. I don't want no Gibbs. I said, man, them dudes I ain't running backs. They weapons. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. It's a difference. And look what Gibbs did for the Lions in that first year. Sure. Just went crazy for them. Sure. So we we the only ones that that played ourselves acting like. We don't need a running back. We don't need a running back. We could draft a running back in the sixth round, watch, in a loaded running back draft. Yeah. And we, I was, I was, listen, I almost disagree with every pick we did last year. Mm. And like, it's, it sounds crazy, but honestly, you know, I had to talk myself into it because I'm an optimistic fan. I still got to say, okay, maybe we finna use them like this and like this, and then we'll be fine. Right. You still got to talk yourself into it because right. that's all you got. We'll be all right. So, yeah, yeah, we we, we got Dak. We got CD Nelm and Michael. We, we going to figure it out. Yeah. But at the same time, if you watch our natural reactions, we can't we can't deny that. What they doing with the <laughs> well, school, man? <laughs> What the hell they <laughs> what the hell they doing with with for Hoko right here? What, Man, yeah. listen, when they drafted, the only reason I think people was happy about Mizey, to be honest, is cause we didn't want no tight end. Yeah. We was everybody thought we was finna draft tight end, and when we heard anything but tight end, I take we it. was like, thank God. I take it. Michael Mayer was some hey yo, look, don't ever say Michael Mayer <laughs> name to me no more, dog. <laughs> We were just a sigh of relief that we didn't drop a tight end. I honestly believe that was our reaction. So we didn't trip on Mize too hard. Yeah. But like I said, I said I didn't want a defensive tackle in the first. I was all the way out on that. Yeah. Then the second round, you dropped another tight end. Now at the time, we thought Hendershot was a, a was a real real life tight end at the at the time. We thought Hendershot was gonna be a it's false. A participant. No way. Not this time. We created it. Oh, so you Not didn't this- like him. Hendershot had seven catches last year, man. Uh, well, year before I mean, that. We, we nah. seen some nice stuff from Hendershot, right? Jake was a dude, but, but, but nah, Jake? not no, but not no Hendershot. Nah, man. Hendershot can but, go. But did you feel like we needed a tight end, though? Nah. Exactly. So that's nah. pretty much what I'm getting at. Okay, we didn't you. feel like tight end was a need. Yeah, yeah. So why would you go school right though? Tight end it still a no need. <laughs> tight end still a it's need. Still a need. School it's making, still yeah. a need right now. Uh, and like I said, man. I said, I did a video on my channel for this year. I said, man, we can't afford, if we going to put everything on the draft, if everything is riding on the draft, mm-hmm. we got to let the politics go this year, botch. Mm-hmm. Like, if this dude better, bro, play that dude. We don't, we get, our margin for error is too small, man. We need to let the real guys play. And the, the reason I brought that up, if John Stevens Jr. go out here and be better than Schoolmaker, he need to play, bro. He need to play. So, do you, do you, do you think that, you know, come camp time, the Cowboys – and look, the answer is no. But do you think that come camp time, the Cowboys are going to approach this thing with no politics? Quinn is gone, and, hey, Wanye, it's your time now, you know? Or if um, Izzy come out here playing corn and he's better than whoever that he's going to have opportunity. Do you think that we're going to go into camp with zero politics? I think politi- zero politics is probably a little dis- delusional, that's a little a, fantasy land. That's a bit much. But at least, at least bring it down – to the bare minimum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. listen, do you think if John Stevens win this job clear in camp like he was doing last year, yeah. don't don't forget, 
he looked it better than Jake for a minute. Sure like did. everybody was talking about John Steven. They was like, man, this, this dude and wow, everybody. Sure did. Now, how did he go from being the best tight end in camp to losing a second tight end to schoolmaker? Yeah. Yeah. We can't have that kind of politics, man. Can't that dude look. looked like a weapon out there. We Just have. imagine him and Jake Ferguson. That'll turn his offense up a lot <laughs> right there alone. That'll turn his offense up a lot. So we just can't do the politic game this year, man. We just can't. We can't. If we want to actually win, we got to let that go. We have to. We're going to draft a running back and start Rico Dowdle. It's fact. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to yeah. start Rico Dowdle. Listen. I, we hate, going I hate it this here. Year. I hate this team sometimes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're my squad, but I can't stand them up. We can't stand their ways. Yeah. They just operate. You know, like they, they, they that cousin that you don't want to do no business with. You yeah. love them, but yeah. you just don't trust them. You Grandma, don't like how he move. Mm, mm, <laughs> auntie and them saying that's not, not nah, that's your cousin. I don't, don't do him like that. Now nah, that's, yeah. that's your family. Mm -mm. If the Cowboys was your cousin, you would probably want him to clap when you walk upstairs. Like clap till I come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't steal nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just can't trust them, man. Yeah, we love you, but we just don't trust you. That's oh, what it is. man, one more thing, and I'm going to get you up out of here, man. Do you think that the Cowboys have fallen behind in the conference or whatever? Like, we way far behind the Eagles. We way far behind San Francisco. We way far behind. Detroit's a player now. Green Bay's a player now. We way far behind them. Do you think we've fallen so far behind? You said a conference. So that's all NFC teams. Yeah. Mm, that's a tough one. Yeah. Because uh, I would have been comfortable talking about the the uh the division because look i don't take the eagles or <laughs> yeah, or, or the yeah. giants in them series I they still feel like we the big dog they the doomed really do. the eagles yeah. doomed you know what i'm saying just yeah. just watching them at the end of the season last year they they can't wait to quit but just the conference <laughs> is what matters to me yeah the conference when you talk about san francisco we can't say we did anything to improve they improving mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and they was already better than us like yeah. we can't be delusional about this mm -mm. you know what i'm saying so I can't say we better than them right now. I still think I'll take my team over Detroit. I really will. It just feel like that could figure it out, bro. We'll beat Detroit. Mm -hmm. I just feel like we'll we'll find a way to beat Detroit. Um, even though they played great ball sure. in their conference game and all of that stuff, but I just feel like Dallas will beat Detroit. Yeah. Um, Green Bay, I think now that they on the radar, I think we caught them. I think they caught us off guard a little bit. We like, gonna we gonna beat the fuck out of Green Bay. We we'll beat them this yeah. time around. I feel like I feel like we'll beat them because we'll take them way more serious. I agree. And a team that we probably forgetting. Well, we're not forgetting about them, but I think they up and coming right now. They got a quarterback now. What you think about the Falcons? I think Kirk gonna do some stuff with that offense over there. I, think, I don't know what they defense gonna do. But Ar Arthur Smith was 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 so bad. He was giving the ball to Cordero Patterson and not Bijan. <laughs> and he was and he was throwing the ball to John New Smith and not Kyle Pitts, you know what I'm saying? But they 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 got dudes over there. They 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 got some dudes, but they don't have defense. So they're gonna be a playoff team. Yeah. And I think they got the fourth seed because Saints ain't gonna they'll be take good. Over the, yeah. They'll take over the Bucks. Yeah, yeah. Pan, you know, well, yeah. Okay. So, but, so the Bucks it, it, was the one of last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if Kirk Cousins can get up to speed and they use Bijan and Kyle Pitts in uh, London and them properly or whatever, then yeah, they can. And, and then they got their early pick this year. It'll be a little tough, man. It's gonna be tough, but but we can. You know, Falcons ain't there yet. They're a new good team, but they ain't there yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I just like I just want to put a small bit of respect on Kirk Cousins. I feel like he'll he a decent quarterback. He gonna make. He gonna make life in Atlanta a little better though. Yeah, I really yeah. do feel like that. Yeah. They offense gonna pump. Like if nothing else work, I feel like they gonna do some offensive things over there that people gonna like. But uh, who else in the NFC? Uh, I said Green Bay will beat Green Bay. Will beat Detroit. That's it. Um, really, it ain't yeah. nobody else really. It's just yeah, we'll struggle with, with San Francisco yeah. until I see difference. I can't. I can't talk confidently about them until I see my team beat them. So let me ask you this. If we if we sign Bakhtiari, JK Dobbins and a and a veteran one tech and have a good draft, would you feel better going into the season? Good draft the one that I got in my head, yes. Okay. Yes. Well of course. I, yeah. Of, yeah. Of course yeah. we draft better than them and our yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. One yeah, I yeah. got in my head, yeah, I'd be ready to go. Like the one I the one I did on my show, I'd be ready to rock with that. Yeah. I'd be ready to rock with that. Yeah. Because I got me a, a dope wide receiver, yeah. 
and I got me uh, a dope offensive uh, tackle. Mm -hmm. I got me a dope running back. Mm -hmm. That's going to turn on my offense a whole lot. Yeah. Like, we have no starting running back right now. We got Rico Dow. That's it. That's it. That's right. So we need a running back. If we get a dope running back like Trey Benson, boom, we ready to go, man. We ready to rock out. Landlord from Alabama, time has flown quickly. Yes, sir. I appreciate you so much for coming onto the platform, sir, and I'm incredibly incredibly proud of you sir because i seen you from from zero subs all the way to where you at where you at now i'm over a little over 5k right now that's 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 it's hard to get to five yeah, it's yeah. hard to get now once you get to five you're gonna wake up one morning and have and have 20 that's just how life go but it's hard <laughs> it's hard to get you, you gonna get the, but, <laughs> but it's hard to get that first five dog and i seen you do it and you did it the right way you ain't do it via controversy or, or you know what i'm saying talking crazy to nobody you did it your own way man i just i, I just want to show some grace and some you know what i'm saying shots out to you sir I appreciate you, man. I really do. You know, y'all, y'all inspired me, man, off of this channel. So, you know, I really do appreciate you talking your good words for you, boy, man. I really do. Hey, man, come back post draft and during the season. That's landlord from Alabama. I've been saying that for a long time. They don't even know. Hey, look, <laughs> that name come from your platform. Damn. I, you, I'm just landlord, but then you was like, you called me landlord from Alabama. Yeah. So I think that's a good warning. Like, hey, the dude from Alabama, from you Alabama. know, he gonna talk country. <laughs> hey, that's what you're getting when you come over here. So hey, <laughs> got a good ring to it. Got a good ring to it. Hit your button, yeah. man. Hit your button. You, you, what, what your button I, set up at? Hit. You ain't got to hit the, the, the trap. The trap button. Nah, nah, hit. nah, it don't work. Over. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on on the rescreen, but yeah, it's all good. I'm a still, I'm a still playing on my <laughs> love that drum. I, I Let's just, do it. I hit the, I hit the OG <laughs> shit. I hit the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, appreciate you for coming on. We'll have you again, landlord from Alabama on all platforms, and hit his cash app, man. We ain't doing nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Support him, y'all. Hold down with the Doski. Right. Go check out all the other content, man. Shalute.